Hi there, um, I'd like to show you how to dynamically create images um, using an API um, by using PHP, the gdlib2 and qrserver.com as the API. Um, something about me, that's me, my name's Alex, you can follow me on Twitter if you like. Um, I participated in this year's uh, Spreadshirt API contest in early summer 2011 and what I did is a little shop where you can buy um, t-shirts with QR codes on and these QR codes um, are taken from an API and they're mixed with background images um, by using PHP. So I will not tell something about the Spreadshirt API because I think you can read a lot about that on, on the web. Um, and for me, working with APIs is um, remixing the web. So you, you take something that is already there, like um, the Spreadshirt API, and you throw something in um, that you created by yourself, uh, like the image we're going to create, and you get something new. That's what I like about it, and that's why I'm an API junkie. So this is what we're going to create, a little warning sign with a QR code on it. And um, here's the plan how we're going to do it. We first need a, a container, an empty container that can hold all the stuff we want to put in. And then we're going to first put in the background. And to make it tasty, we're going to put in um, the QR code. So we're going to paste the QR code onto the background. Um, if you want to take a look at what I did, take a look at qrcodeshirt.de. I hope it's going to be up in a few days. So let's get started. I'm going to open um, Notepad++, my favorite editor. And I already created a uh, folder called... <coughs> I'm sorry, I have a bit cold. Um, a folder called QR Demo. And here's a um, picture called background.png. So this is what our background looks like. It's 500 by 550 pixels. And let's start with a new file. I'm going to save this as index.php. So let's open PHP. First thing we have to do is we have to tell the browser um, that it has to render this file not as an HTML file but as an image. So we have to send a header. And we have to set to con the content type to an image of type PNG. So our first plan was um, let's create this empty container. This empty container is going to be an, um, an image object in PHP. So let's call it image container and let's um, call the function image create true color. So with this we're going to create a new true color image. Um, this one wants to have the pixel measurements, so it's 500 by 550. Our image container has to be transparent, so we also have to call a function on this image object called image safe alpha. Image safe alpha wants to know which image we want to make um, transparent, so we take our image container and we set um, the function to true, so our image can work with with tr uh, transparency. Now the next thing we have to do is a little bit odd. Um, if we want our complete image to be transparent in the background, we have to fill it with transparency. So first thing we have to do is we have to create a transparent color. Let's call this alpha color. And the function to create a um, transparent color is image color allocate alpha so first it wants to know um, for which image um, we want to we want to create it we want to create it for image container then it needs um, three values for RGB um, in our case it doesn't matter which values these are because it's going to be uh, going to be completely transparent so I can take 0, 0, 0 and it wants to know um, the alpha value. This is going to be 127, so highest alpha. So it's going to be completely transparent. Next, we have to fill the image with the color we just created. Um, 
the function for this is image fill then it wants to know which image or image container then it wants to know where to start at um, at the x y axis so it's going to start at zero zero and then which color to use so our alpha color okay so our container is ready what we can do now um, we can render this this image we just created so we call image png and then um, give this function the image we want to render again it's our image container now if we call this in a browser um, let me open Mozilla let's go to localhost QR demo um, you see nothing but you can tell um, by the header that this is a PNG image with 500 by 550 pixels you can't see anything because it's completely transparent but um, if I mark it you can see it's there okay so next thing we want to do is we want to paste in the background um, our background is the background uh, background.png in the same folder as our script is and to call this um, we first again create an image we create it from a file and then we copy it onto our image container so let's call this background now let's create an, um, an image object image create from PNG that's the function to create it and this wants to know from which file we want to create it we want to create it from background.png now let's copy this onto our image container we do this by calling image copy resampled um, using image copy resampled um, makes it very smooth if you use um, just image copy it's gonna not look very cool so first it wants to know where to copy it we want to copy it onto our image container then it wants to know what to copy we want to copy our background then it wants to know where to position it at zero zero then it wants to know where to start the image also at zero zero then it wants to know um, where to end the image at 500 by 550 and then again it wants to know the size of the image that's also 500 by 550 okay let's take a look at the browser and here it is this is our script and it contains um, exactly the background URL um, the, the background.png we have in our in our folder okay um, now we come to our QR code um, the QR code uh, we use um, is taken from qrserver.com they have a really really simple and really great API so let's take a look at there qrserver.com um, if you are there and you're gonna plan something big take a look at the premium services they really rock so here's the free API I'm gonna use this and what you can do there is you can call um, simply a URL where you give a size and you give the data that should be rendered onto the QR code okay now let's create um, the image let's call it QR image and this is also uh, made with image create from PNG because we get a PNG image from QR server and now let's paste in the URL we need so um, 150 by 150 is not big enough we want it to be 265 okay and for the data um, I'm gonna put in my uh, my Twitter profile here it is already okay so this is the URL for the image we we want to use let's bring this in here 
great. And now again let's copy um, this image onto our background image. So again we use image copy resampled. This time we are not going to use background as um, the file we uh, as the, the the image object we want to copy. We're going to use QR image. <coughs> and now um, what we have to say is the image is going to end at 265 pixels and the size is also 265 pixels. Okay, let's take a look at this. Let's reload. Now, the QR code is already here, but it doesn't look very good. Um, we have to position it somewhere in the middle, around here, and we have to get rid of this white background you can see. Now, first for the positioning. Um, by using image copy resampled, um, we can say where the image uh, should start. So, ideal would be 115 and 150. So it starts at 150 and at and 150, <coughs> and it's gonna make um, the image this big. So let's have a look. This looks pretty good. Um, before I will go on, I have to start the screencast uh, the to stop the screencast for a moment, and um, we will go on in part two. <coughs>